My name is Dave. I'm the Sales and Marketing Manager here at Canon Water Technology Incorporated, and today we're going to talk about Myronel's new Ultrameter 6P SI. Um, some of the things that I like about um, just the Ultrameter in general is that it is uh, very accurate, um, it's very easy to use, it's reliable, um, it's digital and auto ranging, so all you have to do is pour in a sample and hit a button and you have a measurement. Um, it's also now waterproof and if you dropped it in the water it'll actually float. The three new features that Myronel has added to the Ultrameter, number one is LSI calculation, which is Langelier Saturation Index, um, which basically gives you the ability to um, calculate LSI um, in your, right in your instrument. Um, the, the meter will actually uh, measure the uh, pH and temperature and then all you have to do is input the hardness and the alkalinity and the meter will calculate LSI for you. In user mode you can actually go in and adjust some of those parameters to see what would happen sort of in a what-if scenario uh, to see where your LSI index may fall given a certain water or condition that you're measuring. Uh, number two, the ability to calculate free chlorine based on ORP and temperature and the free chlorine calculation um, is actually wider, has a wider range than you would get in most colorimetric um, test kits that you may be using now. So this makes uh, uh, the instrument highly useful for calculating uh, chlorine levels either in water or wastewater applications. And the third feature that probably is uh, most exciting about the new Ultrameter is that they've added in what they call a blue dock or blue dock wireless capability which means that the meter will um, store your readings up to 100 readings and then you can transmit that information wirelessly back to your computer via Bluetooth allowing you to take that data and run it in spreadsheets or graph the information or use that data very effectively for your reporting. All of the buttons are on the top panel so including calibration it has top panel calibration um, it's simple as, um, as pouring your sample into the sample well um, and if you're measuring something like conductivity just press the button and it'll automatically measure the conductivity and compensate uh, with temperature. You would pour your sample into the sample well on the right with, that has the rubber stopper and this sample well houses the pH and ORP probe and you should store the pH and ORP probe with, um, with an electrode storage solution in order to keep that probe hydrated. That's one of the critical maintenance steps that you should follow every time you use your meter. But as far as the buttons that are on the, um, the ultrameter, you have conductivity, resistivity, which is really the opposite of conductivity. It's the, um, the resistance to electrical conductivity in water. TDS or total dissolved solids, ORP which is oxidation redux potential, it's actually the measure of an oxidizer like a chlorine or bromine or hydrogen peroxide, um, anything that oxidizes it'll measure in, in millivolts, the higher the millivolts the more oxidant you have, and then you have pH um, uh, which measures from 0 to 14 so you can you know find out if your you know, water has either a high or low pH. And then you have your calibrate buttons and your mode buttons for changing modes or entering in data. Uh, but everything gets done from the top panel, um, very easy to use. On the back of the meter, um, we've actually have a um, uh, sort of a simplified um, uh, instruction guide. So if you don't have your manual with you, you can simply flip the meter over and refer to the different um, instructions on the back of the instrument. And the entire instrument is um, is uh, waterproof, so you know it can get wet. Uh, however, um, we do recommend that you pour your sample uh, into the well versus just you know submerging the meter. Just best practices. For more information about our products and services, please call us at 1-800-230-1426 or visit us at www dot cannonwater dot com